I'm gonna tell you a story. This is for college. Uh, for this is for college students or just women in general or men. It can apply to e either situation, and it's a true story. Um, and uh, there's non-Greek organizations and there's Greek organizations. And then you have your college students. All of them are college students, no matter what. Sometimes you encounter people that have either graduated from college and those that may have not completed college and they are sitting out or they have went to college and they uh, didn't complete with a diploma. And they just sometimes they're part of organizations and um, it doesn't erase them from having access to campus life because they're still connected to some type of organization. They may have gotten a job or whatever the case may be. They may be out on uh, because their grades fell below because they was partying or they just wouldn't focus, whatever the case may be. Or they just could be just adults that um, they could be still young adults or older adults that can come and visit the campus because they are part of a fraternity or sorority or a nun organization my true story i play i i was the the difference between me and some of my lying sisters uh the difference is that i was already exposed to the world uh knowledge because i had already been employed on a job i understand how to be a woman how to be a big girl i may have been a young woman but i understand some of the dangers out here in society or just in world or just even in your own home or in your circles i understood but the thing about it is sometimes you can get so trusting and you can think that you're safe because you be up you want to be a part of this organization okay i pledged the organization and what occurred is i was fine while i was pledging a non-Greek organization. I was fine. At that time, the brothers and the sisters were fine. And the ones that was over me, they were old school. They were strong women. They were, at least they were strong women. But at the end of the day, they had our backs because our, our line was more petite, uh, beautiful young women. But the, the point I'm trying to make is after we went over and we was angels or whatever, uh, what occurred is one time, um, a, a gentleman, you know, came on campus. He was part of our, the fraternity, but he wasn't part of our, our brother's fraternity. And so sometimes you get comfortable. And I, I just believe that our brothers did not know this person, but come to find out and tell you, sir, then I'm going to tell you the, the, the defense of what happened. Okay, the guy appeared that he was liking me. And so he had a car. I didn't care because I had a car too, but he didn't know that I had a car. But he was liking me. But, and so he said, well, let's come chat in the car and sit and chat. Okay, I thought we were going to chat, but he wanted something else. So he started getting aggressive. I said, oh, hell to the no. I said, I'm not those little young girls that don't know no goddamn better. I will fight your motherfucking ass. That's just, that's just me. And so he was trying to get aggressive. I got out of the car and I ran back to the dorm. Immediately, I did tell my big sisters what had occurred about them because they knew the guy was on the campus. But the thing about it, they knew he was part of the brothers. And so they did go tell the brothers about his act. And so the brothers checked him and threw him off campus. So my thing is later on, I did find out that he had already attacked another young lady that was none, not part of our organization. And but the thing is, she didn't tell. Uh, come to find out, this person had been what you call trying to rape somebody, or you don't want to use strong words if it didn't occur, or try to force himself on someone inappropriately uh, when no one is warning that type of behavior towards them. Just because a person like you or be interested don't mean that you have to have sex with them. Doesn't mean you have to kiss. If I cannot communicate with you and talk to you, then you just, you're not, you're not who I am. You have to know the languages. You don't have to do something just because you're part of an organization. You don't have to be, I'm, I'm you know, my thing is I have always been confident in myself. I knew my inner beauty. I knew an organization didn't make me either. I'm going to make the organization, but organization cannot make who I am. No one can make my DNA or my, my personality who I am.
And I don't need an organization to make who I am because who I am is unique. But there's a lot of women and men that don't know that. And so they get in these behaviors and think it's acceptable. uh, Thinking it's a cool or popular thing because they have low self-esteem. And they think that they can get many men and women. And they can because sometimes people will join organizations and they that's the only time that they become popular. In the real world, they're not popular. But me... I'm popular in the real world and in the college life. So at that time, I, you know, you know, but if a person don't know that, they don't know that, but I knew who I am and I was already a a young woman, already entered womanhood and already was a young lady. And so entering womanhood, even though it wasn't their business, but I had already been previously married. I've already had I already had a child, even though my child passed. I've already experienced a lot of adult things. So my mindset was totally different than my line sisters. And the only thing I could do is remember when I talk to my, any sisters that has a willing ear, I tell them what to do and what not to do. Because sometimes parents don't think about the what ifs. You know, they can't assume that the campus is going to protect them. But what happened is... Later on, I think our brothers had a party. It was a, a party on campus in in the student union, in the cafeteria, wherever it was at the time. We would be considered the student union at the school that I attend. But what occurred is we we was doing our little stress. We was already happy because we was new, new, <laughs> new sisters on the yard. And we was fly. We was the hottest thing. And even though we was a nun organization, we were the hottest thing when we attended the campus, uh, our sisters were. Not to brag and boast, but we were. <laughs> and anyone that knew us, they will tell you, yeah, they were really popular and they were hot. But you want to be hot in a, a, a good way, though, no matter who you are. And, and so we, we was having a good time. And that same guy still was on campus. He decided to chalk me and try to fight me aggressively the brothers grabbed him and kicked him off campus and i just thank those brothers that did that is that protected me at that moment because it wasn't a lie he had already attacked one female sexually and forced himself on them so these things occur your body your temple is yours and you choose to do what you want to but if you're not interested in that just because i enter your car does not mean that i have to have sex with you just because i'm sitting in your car i'm assuming because you gave me advice that we were going to communicate you gave me the energy, a different energy than what, until I got in the car, your whole, the whole energy changed. See, people don't know about the shifting energy. See, a person can appear to be a good person and show off a different vibe. And then when you take them in a different setting, then they show who they really are. But he had got a hold to the wrong sister. So even if it wasn't a, a, a a situation where I was not part of none regard wasn't in a safe space where it was a lot of people. He didn't care because we was in a lot of people and he was just cussing going on. It didn't stop me because I cussed too. So, and, but it was, I thank God that the brothers knew who he was and they shifted him off of campus. So think about that when you're on camp, when you're dealing with college life, you got to be safe and think smart. Everyone is not going to always be there to support you and protect you. And always be in a place where someone can protect you, your surroundings, and that you can call for help. Because a lot of times, often, that does not happen to a lot of young people. Uh, uh, Rather they males or females, they get in uncompromising situations. So just remember, be safe at all times.